you have five casters right now, so you just you don't want to auto the wave. Don't auto the wave. No, no, yeah. no. Don't touch the wave. You have five casters. You'll push. Not even if I had level two. I thought I wanted to get level two first. No, no, no. You want to slow push into him. I mean, like you get level two, are you gonna kill him? Uh, yeah. You're gonna win by recalling. Well, he'll have level two at like, the same time. Mm, okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay. But you're, just, you're like, I, I can, like, hard think about how you're actually gonna win the lane. Cause like even if you get a hard trade on him, like he potions, he go bust, he goes back to full health. Like if you just win a trade and then push him in, that's not actually winning. Nice. Uh, crash recall. Zen shouldn't share this with you because you don't need his help to crash with him. Zen sharing with you is bad. Uh, your your money's kind of fucked now too. Oh oh, if you could have canceled his recall, that would probably would have been the best. Yeah, your yeah. money's hard. So now it's like longsword potion. This is pretty bad punish. You think? I I think Ruby Crystal's better. No, longsword potion because you're just buying phase, right? Yeah, longsword uh, potion. Uh yeah, but I, I like going Ruby Crystal with oh. this cross. I mean, you, you get like you just get better value off this recall. Okay. Because you're getting the 10 AD and the 150 health value. But like you get yeah. Ruby Crystal and the grasp would be like what like five more damage or like seven more damage. There's three percent of your max health. Three percent of. Uh, it's like. Five damage, yeah. You're getting five extra damage yeah. on a grass proc, but this you're getting 10 AD, so you get, you know, this yeah, way better recall. Okay, he has no flash. You just don't let him crash. You should actually be trading with him. You need to pre-trade so that skank actually works. Okay. He dies, right? Yeah. Even if he doesn't die, you're gonna freeze on him because the wave right now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's good. He doesn't have TP. Uh, so you hold this. You still have TP, so you don't push. You do not push. You still have TP. Yeah, I, I know. I know. Yeah. I know. I know. Sure. How should I free this one? Do I, how many like casters do I kill? And should I uh, he won't be back for a long time, so you just need to thin the wave. You just need to keep it here. Like it. Uh, if he would have been here sooner, it would be harder to keep this as a freeze. So you would just let the entire wave die, so that you could deny him the entire wave, then slip push crash, and then recall. But since he's uh he's not gonna be here for a long time, you want to keep this lane state for as long as possible. So you should be keep hitting the wave, keep hitting the wave. Like kill the kill the melee, kill the melee. Because you don't want it now, you don't want it so that he comes back to lane and can immediately crash. You want to actually like be able to recreate the freeze. Also, Zin's gonna do golems, raptors, wolves, gromp top. Um, or he'll skip like one of these camps to come top faster. So you need to keep this lane in the same state. You can't let him crash. If you let him crash, this is all fucked. Okay. Okay, you skipped golem, so. But you also don't want to make it slow push. You just need to keep it like where it is. Mm -hmm. And now you're just playing against Zin. Um, so you're looking at Zin, how he how he clears these camps right now with the wolves and Gromp, and you're just trying to make it so uh, York can't crash on you, and you'll just keep this forever. Okay, so Zin's on Gromp. So they keep hitting the wave, keep hitting the wave, because he's about to show up. York's about to show up. Yeah. Even if it's gonna slow push soon. Uh, yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Now the way he's gonna die, and you pull it back. Now pull it back when this minion dies. What the fuck? Oh, nice. What? Why is he so low? He did golems. You can just kill him. I guess oh, yeah, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Yeah, don't die. This is fine. This is fine. They can't crash. This can't wave. Here. Yeah, they're both. They're, 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 they're. They die in eight seconds when you have quick shot. Just don't die yourself. When you eat to the wall, wait out his flash. Oh, it lagged for me. Nice. Okay. No, he's ignite. He's ignite. So I don't do it. Uh, you need to. Uh, should, I just, should, I have, should I just like clear the cannon and go back and TP back? Yes, yes. There you go. Huh? Recall. Yep. Sorry, someone came around. That's fine. Oh, fuck it, that's good. Yeah, sheen yeah, refillable. I like, yeah, I like this one, but. Oh, I didn't get a refillable. Fuck. <gasps> oh, you didn't get potion. That sucks. Oh, yeah, it's way better to just rush uh, Triforce. You don't want Tiamat at all because you're freezing right yeah, now. I know, I know, yeah. I know. Yeah. I, I almost never rush Triforce. Or ne almost never rush like Tiamat. I sh probably should have gone Conquer. I don't think I'll get camp. Uh, I think you should just always go Conquer against Yorick because you need to outscale him. Yeah. There's I just like a few matchups where like there. they normally smash you in lane, but you take Grasp and then they don't smash you in lane. That's like Grasp's use on Camille. Yeah. is going to be a slow push if that caster minion survives. Uh, I think it still is actually on the next wave, but it's okay that it's a slow push because you're so much stronger than him. 
So you give him yeah. one wave, and then yeah, it, it comes back into you. Him when he comes back. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you you want to slow push this as slow as possible, so that Zin could still come top. Is this guy, bro? Uh, as you're, if you, uh, sorry, I didn't have time to explain this because it, it happened really fast. But you should run forward as your cannon minion's dying because there's a chance he's in that bush, that second bush or the third bush. So you want to run forward yeah, so that I, he feels I like he has to run away. I, I, had, yeah. I had that thought too. But like last time we saw him, he, did, oh, he like just kind of did like uh, Krugs or something. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, so he did goal lines, but it made no sense. Yeah. yeah. Kind of a what like a weird champ, but where is he, bro? Okay, Zin start. Uh, Zin just stayed bot side. Just crash. Just crash. Yeah. He gives you the best recall. Like use everything. Yeah, I know. Okay. I have Phage though. Pretty good. Oh my god. They all die though, right? Oh. Uh, yeah, refill. Are you magic boots? The other yeah. option here would be boots too on this recall to uh to nah, go mid. Magical, yeah. Magical, yeah. yeah, magical boots. Okay. Can't let him crash. Just kill the kill the the minions first. Yeah. Uh, he probably he probably crashes. He probably crashes. Yeah. So many of them. What? No, that, that spawns them whenever something dies. Oh, it spawns yeah. like automatically. I thought he had to. Use yeah, three. it spawns another one. The the ult. Oh, I know it spawns three when he also. I thought. I every the, time the every time the maiden kills one of them, it makes another. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. What the fuck? I just didn't spawn it at the beginning of the ult. Uh, executioner's calling. It's a non conquer king. That's pretty interesting. If you can kill the Maiden, you're stronger than him, but if you can't, you just don't fight him until you have Triforce, and then you'll kill him through the yeah. Maiden. Oh, it's pretty low, though. Yeah, 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 kill Maiden. Even if you take a bad trade, it's fine to just kill Maiden. Oh. This is like two minute cooldown for him. Oh, go there first. It's really bad to move for this, because you miss like three creeps for it. But like, yeah. this fight shouldn't happen. Oh, this is really good. He's fucked. Even yeah, if you don't kill him die. here... No, he, he's dead, he's dead. But even if he doesn't die, he's fucked because he can't get this wave. So you just don't let him recall. You just run past the turret, don't let him recall. Well, he's teleporting away! Okay, he misses the whole wave. He's a fucking genius! Okay. Absolute king of top. We'll trench yeah, behind you. But... Let's grieve that, no cap. You're fine now. I don't die here. You kill. Okay, I could push B maybe. I get an opportunity. Oh, whoa. holy fuck, this guy's a actual beast. What the fuck? Not bad. Uh, okay. Uh, that was all like the opposite. So mumbled. So no. mumbled. Yes, this is like the exact opposite of what you should be doing. The moment you see Blitzcrank here, you just leave. Okay. The game's over. They're fucked. York TP'd away from his minion wave. He can't get any XP. If you just don't fight and die, there's like 0% chance they win. Because they, they're like sending three people top, and you could just leave. They just collect the minion wave, and York's like three levels down, and the game's over. Just walk away from yeah. them. You don't have to use your flash. You don't have to do any of this fighting. You just win the game. Yeah. I just felt like we could kill, or like, go one for two there. That would be bad. That's a bad, bad decision. Bad. Yes, that's a bad decision. Because you could just go zero for zero and win the game 100% of the time. Okay. Like, why why do you want to take the fight when you're three levels I ahead? I want to take the fight because I'm already 
because like York's not there, right? It doesn't even matter. Like uh, York's not like a factor in the fight. He could be away. He could have TP like the first tier turret, which I guess like he just this guy doesn't care anymore actually. Uh, it could have like been bad if he TP there and then walked there again. Oh my god, some does back. But I feel like me just getting that much extra gold just like snowballs me into the game. You're three levels ahead. You're snowballed. Yeah, I know. I know, but like, what else am I gonna? I just have a chance to like get an even bigger lead. Just by like killing. Okay, people. okay. The thing I'm saying is you're thinking about winning the fight, and I'm thinking about winning the game. Yeah. Because you're gonna use your flash here to get 300 gold when you're already three levels up. Why? Why not just save your flash for a dragon fight that wins the entire game? I got a double. Yeah, but you also don't need to get a double kill here. Like, do you realize this is like the opponent's mistake? Yeah, yeah, I, I did realize that was a couple of mistakes. But then, like, you trade this for 600 like gold for, for a double kill, you get 600 gold, or maybe even less than that. But you could get a dragon that actually like wins you the game, like just cements. Like you get, you can get five kills. You can kill everybody yeah. by not taking this fight. I like. I understand what you're saying, and I, I agree. But like, I don't know. Something in my mind tells me that it's like not a bad idea to. Because we went one for three. Or like, yeah, three for one. Let's think of it like you're the opponents right now, and now Camille doesn't have flash. Do you feel like, oh, she got 600 more gold, so that's like that's worse for us than if she doesn't have flash? Uh, I guess. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Like, it gives the opponents now opportunities to actually win the game because now you don't have flash, and it's easier. It's way easier to kill you. They would happily give you 600 more gold in exchange for your flash. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, dragon, because they can't crash top wave in time. Yeah. And he's not even going top. This is really good. You'll come back to a freeze top. Should I just go bot? I feel like my bot's here. Yeah, you can go bot. bot uh, look at bot wave. Uh, you push this bot wave and next bot wave. No, no slow push it, slow push it. Yeah, because they'll, they'll lose more creeps. Yes, you slow push because the, if, the, if, if the cannon wave goes onto the turret, it kills one melee minion and then it targets the cannon. And the cannon takes like eight shots. Um, but if you slow push this, you can deny all the cannon, or deny all the melee minions. And then you'll, you'll push the next wave here. You also get two waves and then you get to recall. So the next wave is currently 30 seconds away. So kill this wave as fast as possible. Kill this wave. No, instantly kill this wave. Because the next wave right now is 30 seconds away. So you instantly kill this wave, and then there's no wave bot for a really long time. Then you recall. Or if you have nothing to do, you can just go mid, or you can just even push this. And you don't want to kill this turret, by the way. You don't want to kill this. Oh, really? Just deny them all the minions. They get they get nothing. Then you're going to be four levels up. No, they get nothing here. I mean, I would just go into fog and, like, walk into, like, Gromp. Uh, and just, just, like, walk back now. Because the wave's going to push in, so now you don't have to go bot for a long time. I kind of want to go top. Yeah, yeah, you can go top. You can go top now. Yeah. Because bot wave will push into you really, really slowly, and it'll lead into a kill. And now you get top wave. And then you do the same thing top. Should I just freeze this while I get sent to? Oh no, I don't think I can. It's already targeted. Yeah, you can't freeze it. It's okay. So you want to crash this on the tier 2, but if you push this next wave really fast, the, the wave that you'll actually crash on the tier 2 will be in front of golems, and you don't want to do that, because you don't see anybody on the map right now, you only see Graves, LeBlanc, and Ash. It could be a, like Blitzcrank in York, and these, these people probably realistically don't actually have a chance of killing you, but now you don't see Ash on the map, it could be like Ash, Arrow, Blitzcrank, Hook, uh, and York, and you don't want to like, take this chance. Okay, down. yeah, so you can go now, or you just look at the fight, keep looking at the fight. You really got a free call on Blitz. Yeah, this looks fine. Uh, I don't want to... This looks fine. Oh, I showed. I can get him. Uh, I thought you'd kill Blitz. I thought you'd kill Blitz and go back top. No, no, no I didn't yeah. think I could. Oh, I didn't help. Oh my god, Blitz Crank is insane. Uh. And it even needs to be like in these fights, kind of. I want to clear the wave. What are we? Four fifth four guys.
Probably could just gone on Ash, but I don't know where Blitz or Blanc are. Also Graves. There's no objective up, you just keep farming. You just want to finish your two items, like for third dragon if you can. It's possible to get the stance or uh, or Ravenous Hydra. Either one. It's, it, I, you're so far ahead. You can really build any item right now. Yeah. If you get two items, the game's over. Yeah. But should be Dust Dance though, because their team's going to burst you. You think Dust Dance is better than Hydra here? Yeah, because of how their champions work. Like, they're going to Ash Holt you, and then LeBlanc will try to use everything. Graves can try to use everything on you. And if that burst doesn't kill you, then you'll win the game. You'll win the fight after that. Uh, but. Okay. I should clear that right now. And this is because I don't think you can avoid team fighting in this game. Because your teammates constantly are dying right now. So you probably have to push to go to a team fight. Mm. Hey, we're mm. gonna, wait, I'll just run away from you. I think you would. I think you're ready for a W. Oh, I think not. I didn't think since I would run away. I thought we were going to try and fight it. That's my fault. And that's all we are. You can buy hammer, right? Yeah, yeah. he went for getting roaring into the sense. I'm like, I, I almost like never build that item second on Kumail. Yeah, so the, the way you're thinking about it is if I buy Ravenous Hydra, I want to be split pushing during the game because uh, I push the wave so quickly. If I buy best, if I buy Death Dance, it's because how the enemy team comp works, and because I can't really avoid team fighting, uh, because my teammates are like even though with with these five champions on your team, it should be possible for you to avoid team fighting. You know that your teammates aren't going to like just not team fight and wait for you to split push. Uh, so you're, you're gonna buy Death Dance so that you can actually team fight properly. Uh, because if you jump face first into LeBlanc, Ash Ult, like Graves, Blitzcrank, they're gonna tr try to kill you in like one second. So you take Death Dance so that you have the best defense against that. Yeah. In here, guys. Scaling out. Nice. Mm. I was reading that bush as if it's one wasn't gonna be in it. Huh. Yeah, just crash it. Crash this way. Are you three dragons? Yeah. Okay, game's pretty fucked for them then. I wanna get like one jungle camp. That sucks so. Uh... Uh, there's no rush on it right now. There's four minutes until dragon, so you're just trying to play in a way where you don't die, and then you can get your dust dance and the game's fucked. And they can't kill you. What? Yeah, I think it's pretty good. No, uh, that's you... pretty optimized. I think Camille critically strikes a lot, in my opinion. Maybe actually kill LeBlanc here. Oh, See two people you? mid. So the two people mid went to left side. It tells you Graze is most likely left side. Really good chance Graze is left side here, so pretty pretty sure you're safe doing this. Can't even kill her. No. Yeah. So whatever, she's strong. Doesn't matter. It's okay. She misses cannon XP too. Yeah. Crash next wave, recall death stance. Don't die on this wave, pull it to the pull it to the right. Don't die on this wave. Oh, you saw Graves, you're fine. You're fine, you're fine. You saw Graves and, War and York. Yeah, you're okay. You're cool. I can maybe get a TP playoff here. 
Mm. Oh, you want to be spam back in your team right now because the only bad thing that can happen is they die before you can TP. Oh, yeah. oh we, we just win, so it's fine. Yes, yeah, so, so if they can just win by themselves, you... it's fine, but you should be spam back in them because they're doing like the worst thing possible. It's really hard for them to kill you. I want to see if she wants to yeah. go back. She doesn't. Yeah. Uh, enemy red buff. Enemy red buff. Enemy red buff. Yeah, fuck what every team is doing. I mean, even oh. if they're gonna win, you can still backping them here because if they don't fight, you win 100% of the time. You just get red buff and then keep farming. Yeah. Give me this one, please. Clutch. They shouldn't go for end hub because they'll die. There's only three of them. It's actually three v three. Even if they win, they should. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Oh, you you can kill Graves. You can kill Graves if he keeps going. Right, you should be looking at Graves. Maybe Morgana kills him. Yeah, they're all on it. Yeah, his only angle would be up. So you, I mean, okay, so you, you just look, you look player. every time, you always look. You're like, you don't just look at the mini map yeah. and think like, like you can see everything that's going on. Nice. Okay. Okay. Uh, how should I, like, should we set, get payment, like, uh, put it out now? Oh, no, we'll do it after. I, we're, we're gonna review now. Okay. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna share screens with you now. Okay. Should I stop sharing screen then? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you see my screen? Uh, yeah, I can. <laughs> the fuck? Okay, cool. My eyes. So much happening. Okay, cool. Okay, so Slain starts fine. Uh, you, you should auto like a couple more times because you want to get slow push on him for sure. Yeah. But you're just thinking about uh, like crashing the wave on like three, four, or five. Um, and like better, like later than three is generally going to be better for you. So like if you can get a crash on four, crash on five, this is like ideal. But if you can get like if you play against a good player, it's going to be really hard to crash wave four against them. It's probably going to happen that you crash wave three. Uh, but against this guy, you can crash whatever fucking wave you want because this guy's not really doing a whole lot. Okay, right now you should see, but you can recognize this like in every lane you play against like any MMR. You have five casters right now, so your lane will naturally slow push if he doesn't kill the casters like really soon because the wave DPS is way higher. So even though he has yeah. these minions, and you should probably kill these minions, uh, you don't have to auto the wave anymore because now your minions are gonna naturally slow push. So don't touch the wave. This is what I was wondering. Like, your, I was wondering like how how much killing the minions actually attributes towards like slow pushing. Um, or I was wondering like, like what did each of his minions equal to in in terms of my minions? Yeah, like, so in, they don't do low. a lot of damage. They do pretty low damage, I think. I, I don't think they'll actually do a lot to your melee minions, but. The, the problem that you might encounter is if your caster minions aggro onto them, the DPS gets lowered. Because now, it, let's say you have three of your caster minions aggroed onto a Yorick ghoul, uh, and it takes like yeah. several hits to kill them. Now, his three minions are actually higher DPS than your two minions. And, uh, yeah. Because yeah, because some of the melee minions might aggro yeah, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. can make it that it actually pushes them to you, yeah, if, you don't, uh, if you don't change it. But. See, like right here, I, I would auto the last melee, and then I'd walk up for an EQ. Or like, that's, that's like what I was planning to do, but you were told me not to. I, I feel like it, it would be like be good for lane state. I feel like I would still be able to slow push it in and just get like a huge trade and then like get ready for Zen. Yeah, so third wave is coming, but I, yeah, I feel like right here I could just go for an EQ trade and just I, like why why use your E? Because he's coming right now. Your E's gonna be like 18 seconds, right? Uh, yeah, it's an 18 second level one. So uh, so 225, so two from 226. So he has to come at 200. But he's like coming top right now, so he'll be here in like like 10 or 12 seconds. So then it'll be on yeah. cooldown. You have to wait. But like, I mean, you can still walk in and trade with him. Because right now, you, if you're looking at the oncoming wave, you can see that when you hit level 2, like, there's no trade that's going to make the wave push in faster than, like, the, than, like, the wave would come in, you know? So you yeah. can just walk in on him and just stop him from hitting the wave. Like, when he hits that caster, that shouldn't be allowed. You can just hit him. 
But you don't want to yeah. use your E here because then it's so close. Because then it's just doing three camp gank. Like this minion, you can just hit him. Or you can just like auto this and then Q him. But like you click back off this. Yeah. But like, like what are you thinking when you click back off this minion? Like are you thinking uh, that he's going to Q you? Because then you would like that. No, I was just like, because I remember you told me like uh, to not like do the EQ thing. And I was by that, I kind of like just took that as don't trade with him right now. Oh, right. yeah, yes, yes, yes. But you, yeah, you have to like separate the like the the game yeah, yeah, from like the trading. I'm not used to getting, yeah, because yeah, 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 I also said when uh, when the waves coming in like this, you have to pre-trade um, before this gank happens. Otherwise, it's really hard to kill him. You barely kill him off this gank. It's pretty hard yeah. to kill him here. You know, you're like this is like last auto, or, like second to last auto. But if you get a pre-trade, it's like 100% of the time. If you can just like W him, like walk in auto queue, uh, and like the worst thing that happens is that you have to TP back, uh, which is fine because you just you just TP back to a freeze. He has no TP right now. I should, have uh, e I should have e to the. You can also e off this, yeah, yeah, yeah so, so, And then your trade, your trade would come out a lot earlier. Yeah, that's also fine line. If, if it like th this would also play fine for like the next like six seconds right now if you e right now, um, because Zin yeah, could, yeah, Zin yeah, could go around awesome. this way yeah. and kill him, but Zin goes this yeah. way and makes it a little awkward. But yeah, the, the best the best option is to trade before the gank happens so that he's he has to keep trying to push the wave, and then he's just fucked. He either has to like let go of the wave and then it goes into a freeze. Um, or he like thinks he won the trade against you and tries to take it further and then dies to the gank and then there's like no good option for him. But if he's full health, there's an option where he's slow pushing the wave but sees that he's getting ganked and then runs away. But with all the HP that he has, he survives. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me did not have a good time this game, bro. I was looking at this stuff. Yeah. This. Okay. I should be stutter stepping forward instead of to the side. I'm like kind of being stupid with that. I think I just we just kill him here, don't we? Uh, one more forces flash. I forget which one. No, no, you don't kill him here. You, you almost kill him. Okay. I should have e. Yeah. Like Do you a see? A second ago or two seconds ago. Yeah. Can you tell me like and when then... this gank happens? This gank. I should go in right now. But. Like exactly when? Like, give me like, like, try to give me like. Oh, like, two, right, can two, I frame two, forward in this? He should, he should arrive at try like two forty, and then I should, I should like two forty three. should be at my lane, or like. No, no, no. I mean like, like, like right when you should go on him. Like, I'll go really slowly and like oh, tell right me now. if it's already passed. Oh wait, no, I shouldn't go in that. Uh, I should go in like what the two more frames, and then I should go in. Okay, why? Like right now. Uh, yeah, I feel okay, like I should go in right now. Okay, right now would oh. be okay. Yeah. But I, I can give you like an even better. Like it should be a little bit further in, but do you know why? I should be trading with him right now, like free trading. I mean he's not gonna agree to a trade right now. You just like walk him you you just run at him and then he like run away. Because there's nothing yeah. from the farm yet. So you, you like you can't just run, run at him at any time. Today. Like right now if you just run at him, he's just gonna run away because there's nothing to farm. He's just gonna say bye. I feel like me eating onto him right now isn't even bad, so I just try to get him uh, and then we can plan for a dive. Or then he could just recall TP before the wave crashes. Did he need recall? I felt like. I feel How like would you stop him? Zinzao? Zinzao like walks under turret and W's him? This is canon yeah. wave. You know, if you just E onto him right now, and then he sees that like Zinzao's top, and then he just recalls and TPs. Like, this is like. Mm. Again, you're like playing around his mistake, but. There, there's a moment where like. Th like, what you do is close to correct, but I, I, what I want you to do is tell me why it's correct. Because even if you did the right thing, it doesn't matter if you don't know exactly like why you were doing the thing you were doing. But what you did was was I mean, I almost there. Now. I feel like going right now. And why? Because like, he's, he's, he's stunned. He's stunned when he goes in. And just like, I just have my, like, he just can't move. He's just stunned. He doesn't have W yet. He has QE, if I remember right, at this point in the lane. And so he's either forced to, like, trade flashes, or not trade flashes, but just force the flash away. And then, like, you force it back, right? And TP back. But, or he just dies. But like just going in right now, it it just makes it easier for Zinza. Like, it's just the right time to go in. Like, why? We'll, we'll be there. We'll be there to hit him because Zinza will be like, if you like move forward upwards, like upwards a little bit, like with your mouse, and then he'll be like arriving like a little bit between like the turret and like the bush, like the lane rush, like at this point. Yeah, see, and then you can just like we just get it at him. I guess like actually right, right. okay so why is in, why like, is a this and a different half earlier would be better so like, why a second and a half earlier would be, would be better because that would then be in range for you no, no no why is this going in right now where we agreed that like you can't really get a good trade with him because there's nothing to farm and he'll just walk away why is this what we just talked about different than like right now uh because right now since i was arriving 
Okay, okay let's I go back. Let's go help. back here. Let's go back here and let's put Zenzao a little bit further. Okay, so right at this yeah. moment, let's say Zenzao's in the bush. Okay, why would that yeah. still not be the best time to go in? Compared uh, to sure. compared is that, is to it, do, I, do I want like my minions to die or something? Compared to right now. Would I want my minions to like die or something? Well, I'm not sure. He just walked forward for a minion. Oh. This is predictable. I, said, I, said, I just said like he just like walk. It was the right position. He 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 must get this minion. He well he feels like he must get this minion. But this is a timing that doesn't change within like in the game. You can you know that this is an event. This minion dying is an event. He either decides to lose 21 gold here. Or to go for the minion, and when he goes for the minion right now, this is the time to go in because he's he's committed to get this creep, and you know exactly where he'll be standing, and you see Zinzao's position, and now he's dead. But this this is like the this is what you should be thinking about when you're in the lane. If he goes for any minion at this moment, he'll walk up way too far so that I'm able to kill him, because right now okay. if there if this minion is half health, he's not standing here. He's standing here, and you can't kill him. Okay. So you have to look. So this means when you're in lane, you have to look at your minions as they get low. You have to look at Yorick. You have to look at your creeps, and you have to see like the enemy creeps because you have to see as the enemy creeps as well. So you're seeing your minions. You're seeing where Yorick's standing, and you fig you figure out while you're in the lane where Yorick will be standing in the future because these minions are getting lower and lower. So back here, when we go back, we can tell that this is not an ideal time to trade because there's nothing to farm. There's no like good reason that Yorick should be trading. Because he's never going to be standing here because you can't CS this minion yet. What that also tells us is that if we see that this cannon minion aggro's onto this melee creep right now, we see at like a two or a three second timer on this minion. And then we figure out that York will be standing here in a couple seconds because he's going to want to farm this mm -hmm. minion. Or he loses 21 gold. And then we'll do it again with this minion. But we agree that if York is just standing here the entire fucking lane, we're never going to kill him. Yeah. Okay, I... But I what I said earlier, but I, like I just felt like it was the right like, like just the position like where I was like I was like I thought that or well, I guess going in because the minion is dying and he's going for the minion is like the better way to explain it. But what I but what went through like my head was this, it was like he would end up being where like in a good position for Zenzao to like, like yes yes to, and no I I, yeah. I totally understand that like you just feel it. I 100% yeah. understand, but this is what I'm trying to I make you to stop doing. Yeah. I, I uh, don't. Yeah. I, yes. Yeah, I, I don't want you to just yeah. feel that it's correct because this will lead yeah. you down a lot of like incorrect paths um, because you won't like provide reasonings for like the things that you're thinking. You'll just say, well, I, I felt like it was right. And maybe it even is right. But that will that will only like strengthen your ability to make like incorrect decisions in the future because now you're confident in that feeling that you're right without giving good reasoning for it. Yeah. So, okay. like, this is the process that you have to go down, is you have to actually figure out exactly why you feel like it's the right choice, and actually, like, investigate it and, like, attack these ideas. Because what you did was basically the right play. It wasn't, like, a lot wrong with this. You were, like, basically, like, a half second late. Like, it, to me, yeah, it yeah. even looked like that you knew what was going on. But I had to ask you, and then it was like, well, you just kind of felt like it, so I don't actually know. Um, yeah. And then, like, then we'll go down this path. But that's basically the right timing, what you did. Um, but what's what's way more important is that you know exactly why you did what you were doing. And this yeah. goes this goes for like everything in league, like item builds, you know, like uh, like lane crashes, um, like matchup information, you know, like it's all it, it all has to do with your intention. Even if you do the right play like every time, um, it, it doesn't really matter if you don't actually know why you're doing the things you're doing. Yeah. Uh, because then all it takes is like a different variable or like a patch. Maybe the game changes, you know, and then all of the, like the feelings that you used to have about the game are now like meaningless because the game is different. Um, so you have to like develop new feelings. And then what if those feelings are wrong? Because we're never really like, if we're not actively thinking about why we're doing everything, then like wh who knows what's leading yeah. us? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah. We kill him again. Now this is this is a pretty hard spot to, to pull off right now. We have to think about um, actually. Okay, I'll, I'll have you do this again because this is like a good way to, to test this stuff. Is to do like puzzles. So when you're thinking about you killed Yorick right now, um, what are the things going through your head to make sure that you can keep this freeze forever? Because that's the objective, right? You want to keep this freeze forever and I, everything. I, I, no, right now I just want to like auto the like, creeps. Like I I don't want to like, use my abilities on the creeps. I just want to auto them. Yeah. So why? how much and like what changes things here until i have like at this same moment, i want to have like 
four net casters and like that's when i want to stop autoing but i also want to get rid of the cannon as soon as i can kind of like that's just my because like when i read an article a long time ago like a year ago about like wave management by god i forget who it was it was some collegiate player was it like uh, that he said that di- or no, he said that uh like cannon minion waves have a lot of rng they do yeah. So, like, yeah. yeah yeah so i remember like basically ever since then i've always like when i'm trying to set up a freeze i've always just cleared the cannons like prioritizing clearing them yeah it makes it lower variance if you can just get like four casters and yeah, then like yeah, set yeah. them up properly yeah i read that like a long a while ago okay and so i'm, I'm asking you this because right now there's way too many fucking creeps yeah i should yeah i should like probably w e like auto two of them and then pull it back no you don't need to do that because the timing think about how long it takes for york to come back because if it takes york two minutes to come back you're never gonna have to use spells to fix the wave you know you can just yeah. auto because there's 120 seconds you could get like 100 yeah, auto attacks awesome. yeah yeah you also awesome. you also have potions and you have tp so it's like well the damage doesn't matter so much also zin's clearing back to top right now zin is uh, gonna I, I guess he like skipped his golems or maybe he didn't do his golems fully but he did four camps and then came back top so now we have like a 60 second or like an 80 second window let me check if that's right by the way it's about 80 seconds yeah uh it, like a, a 60 second to like an 80 second window of the jungler clearing from bottom to top where i need to keep the wave in like the, a similar place so it would be best if i could just have a wave like at his turret right now and then it would slow push back into me really slowly and i wouldn't have to take any damage but i don't want to do that because to do that it would it would take too long i would have to crash wave onto his turret and then he might arrive and then get all those minions and then it would slow push back into me and i don't want to give him anything so i want to keep the wave here so you need to let your wave die kill enough creeps so that you don't take a lot of damage and then pull the wave back to simulate that slow push coming uh, back from your turret um yeah. so when you have like after you kill the cannon let's say right now there's fucking eight casters teeing off on the yeah. wave so there's Fucking so much fine. damage coming in like but also uh, it takes about 30 seconds um you get you, there to get back from my end yeah yeah so he, his move speed is 340 right now and he, he'll spawn here which is a little bit slower than the minion spawning from the base yeah i thought i read it was like 20 seconds from mid 30 seconds for top yeah it's about 30 seconds he's he's top, a yeah. little bit faster than the minion so th- this uh this evens out a little bit it's about 30 yeah. seconds from to get back to lane so like right when you kill him you look at his death timer you add like the the time that it would take for him to get back you think about the possibility of him buying boots but you think well this character probably doesn't buy boots uh, so yeah. right now you're at like four uh 413 is when he spawns so i'm thinking like four 443 4 to 445 is like when he's coming back yeah, into lane. I, have a, I have a hot like 30 yeah, because, seconds to clear this entire, yeah. I, I can auto it. Because he would have to walk the, from the his tier one perfect. turret. Yeah, the way he, safe should be perfect for me. It should be able to be set up because you have like a, you I have like I over also have 40 pots seconds. And biscuit. Yeah. So just in case I need a tank, which I probably shouldn't really need to take much. But. So like once you figure out there's like 40 seconds to do this, you need to figure out if it will actually take spells or not because it might actually take spells. Um, depending on how shit the character's wave clear is, it might actually take spells to like uh, make this wave good enough because without taking a lot of damage. Even if you're like constantly beating the shit out of this wave, because it's already so big, your minions will die. You only have five creeps, and they have a cannon and like and uh, and five casters here. It's gonna be eight casters, three melees, and a cannon. So it might even take spells right now to prevent your for yourself from taking damage. But you have to be like thinking through this stuff as it's about, happening. I don't even care about taking damage right now, do I? I I, I feel like I shouldn't because I have pot or I have biscuit. I feel like they take damage is uh, like biscuit's really small. Damage. Like even it's I'm missing HP. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so I, is it? Yeah, it's missing, not max, right? It's it's sure. missing, yeah. So if you're 500 yeah. health right now and you're missing is like 360, you're healing 36 yeah, health. Yeah, yeah, basically nothing, yeah. Yeah. But. It's more about mana. Think of these mm-hmm. as mana potions, way more than health potions. Because um, yeah. it gives you the base I, I, mana. I also wanted to like, wonder your, your idea on like, in, in the grass tree, or like, mm-hmm. for Camille, I wonder like, so obviously I go like shield and grass, right? Mm-hmm. But then I feel like, I want second win and unflinching. That's like the the right thing to go, right? All right, what do you think about it? Oh no, you don't like un- need second win against Yorick. No, no. Yeah, true. And- I don't know. I always like just prefer second win than bone plating in like every scenario. I I I just feel like that it just does so much more. Um, if you think you beat Yorick early this really hard. This is also so. This is also so weird. I like saw this play. I was like, what the fuck, bro. If you think uh, you like, beat no Yorick idea. really hard early, um, and you're playing on building dust dance, you should just go conditioning, because you won't need the stats early. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I go conditioning yeah, I really on go, a lot of champs. I rare, yeah, okay. I also I think unflinching is like super underrated. Unflinching's good, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen a lot more I, people go unflinching recently. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, here I didn't say anything, but you did like generally. Again, you did like generally the right thing. This is you should just recall. You should just recall TP, and it should be Sheen and uh, Sheen and refillable. Yeah. Um, oh, again, no, I, seven I casters coming in. At this point, I, I saw I had like a thing, and they had four casters. And so like, like, what like, the hell is this guy yeah. doing? I was like, I was like, yeah, I, I saw him do that, but I had already channeled my recall like to the full, so I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go back. No, 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 it, it's still better to recall. It's still better to recall on yeah, TP. I'm just, I'm just gonna fucking freeze on this guy for eternity. <laughs> He's just screwed, right? I'm gonna be level eight to level four or whatever. But it's like, I don't know. Also for Camille, do you you do you go conk like do you do you like the conk tree? Like yeah. Comparative to yeah, conk. Yeah. Do you have you tried overheal on her? No, I haven't tried overheal. Uh, I go sure every game. I'm a conqueror. Oh. Is it just better scaling? Just taking it for scaling? Uh, I feel like, cause cause I go bloodline right and last stand. I I seen some Camilles go alacrity, but I think that runs like fake. No, I, I don't think it actually. Bloodline. You should just yeah, play. I feel like bloodline is way better. Be yeah. And so I think it's like over here just after you even get like try then you, you just like you always have like basically have such a good like shield you don't even need triumph like i feel like if you play enough camille matchups you shouldn't like ever be in the need to have triumph like nearly ever it's just uh, a chance that doesn't like i'll and, try like, overheal but yeah i don't know i go every game uh, i think I triumph will be but i think triumph be would be awesome. better scaling anyway yeah you think it's better scaling yes because in team fights when you get 12 percent of your max health back on kills like if you do that, yeah. if you do that once, I think it's better than overheal. Hmm. Yeah, because when I'm when I'm building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's takedowns. Yeah. yeah, you get assist. You get take. Uh, you get triumph. You also get twenty five gold on the kill. On the takedown. Yeah, I knew that. So, uh, so this wave ended up slow pushing, but it's not it's not the end of the world. He gets like the one wave, and then you come back, and it's frozen again. Yeah. I mean, the game's over, like, for him, at least, at this point. Like, he, he's, like... Yeah, he's th this is not good. This shouldn't uh, slow push back in. No, yeah, this, this should just be a freeze again. I, yeah. yeah. But... Uh, I just killed the thing. But this is pretty normal like... right now. Yes, yes, yes. This is, it's fine to take a bad trade. If you can kill his maiden, it's, like, it's really important. Yeah. You just remove, like, one of his I major abilities. Death, Especially yeah. if you have potions and you have, like, bloodline. Uh, yeah. If you're in contra oh, and you have yeah, bloodline. I don't, I don't, yeah. yeah, it's grass this game, but I don't think it should be grass. Have you also tried going... I go at every game. Uh, I like when I play Conquer Camille. I go at every game, but when I go Grass, I I max Q when I go Grass, right? Because it's just like it makes sense just for like walking up and getting the huge like proc. Because uh -huh. I don't go Shield Bash when I go Conk, but I go three points E then max Q in most matchups. I just I always Conk max Camille. Q. It's just better scaling. Like when you max E on Camille, it's like really coin flip. You could just max Q and just farm. Yeah, I think maxing is really bad most of the time. Uh, when would you max E against the Kali? Uh, I mean, most I matchups, it's actually, like, underrated. Because, like, what can we... I, this is a misplay, by the way. Like, like watching back, I, I knew I misplayed it mechanically, but it's also, like, like a macro misplay by me just, like, not going... I, I should have just, like, backed off. You're right. Like, thinking back on this play. But the reason why I blew, like, 3 points E on Camille is, like, basically, you'll be level 5, like, at 5 minutes, right? Or, like, 4.30 or something. And mm -hmm. then, like, that's when the, the armor expires on the turret. And then, like, putting points in Q doesn't really, like, change your trading patterns too much in my opinion at least because putting a point in q adds like 15 damage i think to it but then putting in e, like points into e and, and also look like cool down obviously but putting points in e basically like it gives you more attack speed to it and it gives you like raw burst damage like which i think is like really underrated on gmail and it gives you also like the attack speed steroid which increases per level and also gives you lower for them on xba it's just like i guess how aggressive you want to play on Camille. I'll just I look think... at the scaling, but yeah, I don't think Camille like likes to constantly use her E like this. She's yeah, right. no, and then, like when I, when I play Grass, I'm like, yeah, I would be playing this something like way different if I had Conk, but obviously I have Grass. But then, uh, like after the turret play ex expire, I obviously like Max Q, right? Because it's just for sense. But maxing Young Camille just feels like so nice versus like a lot of things, or just like three points in the E. Oh, you're just doing it for the damage? Uh, it's like lower escape cooldown and damage, yeah. And like the attack speed steroid. It gives you 20 attack speed, 70 AD, 70 damage, and uh, in 3 seconds. Uh, I don't know. I'll try it. I'll ask Dreaded about it too. But, I don't know. Most Camille's I see always max Q, no matter what. Unless like, matchup specific, where you put points in E. Like, you can't yeah. trade I with mean, Q. Like, trading with Q is just fucking impossible. Like, with yeah, the Kali. I both, both things, like, where I have max Q and I have max 
Ye. Or like, obviously I'm maxing you this game, but I don't know. I don't play I shit too much, Emil. Like so. Yeah, I like 1k on her this season, I think. And I have like, I think I have the net most wins on her out of any player in Masters Up. This is really important that you understand this. Yeah. Like why this is a, like, I, why the, like why that play was for me going for it is like like it is bad right like not without using this context like without saying exactly what's going on in this play can you say like why the play is bad does that make sense maybe that's hard to hard to answer oh i mean i was like kind of like laughing a little bit when he tp it away but like this you mean like right now this play is bad uh, like right, right right now oh yeah. right now uh it would be uh, right like right now, now. yeah right yeah, to get this we don't play. see leblanc right yeah. like, uh, you're fine now because it's gonna be like 3v2 right and it, 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 it like risks me dying and so me not like me just like dying and also zinzel like having the chance to die also gives raise like access to zinzel's like topside jungle right and that's just, like like so what can i really get i i like objectively i can get like two kills off the burn of flash right and that's like coin flip squad because I, I like played it bad, right? Like mechanically, I didn't play it like even close to what I should have. But like it still worked oh, no, out. No, of no, no, no. Like like way worse than this. Like like even just using your E like in this direction like ruins it. Oh yeah, I, I wanted to get out, but I like didn't notice that Graves was already there. I, like, oh no, no, yeah, yeah. Really even hard. if you go here, you're fucked. Yeah, because of Blanc. LeBlanc yeah, I should have walked over You have to go here. I should have walked over to the left. Yeah, you're right. I also should have not auto blitzcrank right there. Should have saved my shield. Okay, okay, but this is like I, I don't want you to focus on the specifics of the play because everybody does this. Everybody will look at the specifics of the play and they'll say like, "Well, I played it bad," but like they won't pay attention oh, no, to like I should the be intention. In this position whatsoever in the first place. So, yeah, I should be out. I should be this out. This should like, be like the only thing you're crushed. thinking about is like, right. like yes, right. I play I played it poorly, but it's like how often am I going to play it fucking perfectly? Like, we shouldn't be thinking of in terms of, like, how well you played it mechanically. Yeah, because like people make mechanical perfect. mistakes. Like, the best players in the world make mechanical mistakes every fucking game. So, like, why is this a measurement? We should be, like, thinking about how I'm thinking about making the play. Yeah, you know? I, I, the, yeah. But at this point, the play is, like, already, like... Or, or, like, I just fucked up my E. And that's, like, I should be, like, running, like, super far. I should be using my E to run away, not there. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I ran down, actually. That's so stupid. <laughs> that's so That's so messed up. What the F? Wow. I got so lucky with those skills. That's kind of unreal. Yeah, so uh, another thing is is that uh, like the when you play solo queue in NA, you'll be high MMR, but you'll play against like really bad players all the time, like super regularly. So even like yeah, even I, though I'm like 900 LP right now, it won't be a, an event that I play against a D1 player. Like that's that's like fucking normal, I guess. That I just like queue up against oh, a D1 yeah, player. Oh yeah, especially in especially in, mor so, in morning queues. I, I'll go against like people like Ryoma one game and then like top. Yeah, then you'll play against some random D1 player you've, you've never seen in your life. Yes. Yeah. Some guy who's like D3 normally, but then he gets to D1 and then he plays versus like he plays in a challenger yeah. game somehow. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It was in my lobby earlier. I thought I think I messaged you about it. I was like, nah, dude, that's just, I had to dodge, bro. It so, wasn't worth. So you like we can't measure plays and like, or, or we can't measure plays based on like the result of them because we agree that our opponents are like super flawed. So we have to think about it like, what if Graves and Blitzcrank played perfectly right now? I'd be dead, yeah. What yeah, if they I played would, perfectly? I, you know, then... I, if, if they played perfectly, I would have gotten E'd, like, closer to the turret by Blitz Crank. And, and also, Graves would probably not be level 6 to when I'm level 9. Now, the but, ben the benefit of this then, is that... Okay, that was so messed up what just happened. Like, the, the flash into Blitz Crank uh, Zanya's. I was actually so demoralized when that happened. I was like, oh, yes, okay. yes, this is really bad. And, like, if the opponents play well, like, you can just die here, too. Yeah. Did you see my Q? It went off still. Like, like what I if didn't... LeBlanc doesn't go for Zinza? What if she just kills you? Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I 100% like realize. Well, then you can't do this. Like, really stupid. Like you don't have E right now, and she should know. Like three seconds until E, she should just go around Tribo. She'd be like in your face right now, and you'd have to like you try to like try to do E here like immediately. Just be dead to the block. It's so hard to lift from block here. But yeah, the, the benefit of this is that we can see these things without needing perfect opponents, and we probably won't even encounter perfect opponents. But this is how. We avoid trying to play like the best players that exist at the moment, or maybe even the best players that we've played against at the moment. So instead of trying to play against maybe the best top laner, or play as if you were the best top laner that you've played against, so maybe like like Licorice or something, we can play 
closer towards the highest ideal that we can imagine. So we don't have to we don't have to have like the best player, the best jungler, the best support, the best mid laner in the game right now to see that this is a bad play because we can imagine what could have happened if these characters did different things. If this LeBlanc is here right now instead of here, you know? So Yeah. This has to do with how you're like again, this is has to do with your intention. And when you like review games like this, you should be thinking like, well, what if this character didn't do this horrible thing that like I punished them for? Uh, because the same yeah. way that you say, like, I played this really bad, the opponents all played it really fucking bad, too. Everyone played it yeah. really bad. Everybody's playing this really fucking bad. Yeah. So we use this as, an, like, a, as a guideline. Like, everybody's playing bad. So how can I, like, align myself with the correct intention so that it doesn't matter that I play bad? I'll play just as bad as you, but win every time. How? Because the, the thing that I'm aiming for is way better, even though the I play just play. as mechanically yeah. bad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I I one hundred percent I understand that concept, and it's like what what just happened? It's like kind of like embarrassing to like watch me go in now, like thinking about thinking back at it. It's like uh, and yeah, it's actually like it makes a lot of sense. I understand like exactly where you're coming from. Like I should not be I should be playing like as if like they're gonna not play it like complete dipshits. So. Mm -hmm. And you're super far ahead, so if you just hold everything. Yeah, I have no I have no I have no, I have no reason to to go like super hero play mode and, right? and i told you this during the game if you think of this from your opponent's perspective it's way worse if the camille always has flash because you feel like you can't do anything you can never kill yeah, it yeah the actual feel like you can never like pressure her she it, always yeah. has flash up you know what the fuck am i gonna do if she has flash i have to wait until she's down to like do anything that i want to do but if she trades her flash for 600 gold randomly we're like okay we have five minutes where we can actually kill camille because the 600 gold doesn't turn her into a different character yeah and even if it does we can wait like, we don't have to, like, the game isn't in a place right now where you can just, like, force huge objectives. Like, the biggest thing that's coming up is Dragon, and you would rather have Flash than the 600 gold right now. Like, with your yeah. items right now, you would trade, you would trade not spending this gold, not not recalling right now, if tabbies, you could have your Flash yeah, up. I would still have Tavis. Yeah, you still have your Tavis, too. Over for tabbies, even though I didn't have it. Yeah, yeah. But it, you would it, much rather have your Flash for the Dragon. I guess that's, like, hindsight. Uh, I, I should be like thinking about this like in real time. Like, oh, I yes, yes, this this is, this is hindsight, but it's spawn. possible to use that hindsight and then take it into a new game and then like actually like if you actively think about yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. it won't be hindsight anymore. You'll actually see it before it happens. Yeah. Uh, I don't and know if anymore. You played on Korea for a long time, right? For a couple years. Yeah, like two years. Do you do? You, would you ever play with a? Camille player named NTV? Don't think so. Just... Oh, okay. I was just wondering. I don't know. He's just one of the people that, like, a couple years ago, I got me into Camille. I thought it was just, like, uh. so interesting. I like watched lots of them. Played against, like, Pi 9 Riven. You know that? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pi 9, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's really lit. He was really good. I had him as my Twitter bio. I was like, Pi 9 fanboy was my Twitter bio yeah. for, like, a, a couple months. Yeah, he's so good. Guy's a king. Yeah, this, this is like a misplay this way as well. I like okay. I shouldn't have showed or well, I either should have ran right at him. Or I hesitated. I should have sh either ran right at him in W, like Q it, or like queue up my W, or I just shouldn't have showed. Or not, you'd never kill him if you just ran at him. Yeah. Or I feel I just shouldn't have showed him, I guess. Yeah. Watch it again. Just try to see like what happens. Or like different ways that you could have played it. Like try to suggest like different things that you could have done. Push. He's he's like, he's like walking upwards. Okay, but like what's preventing you from killing him? Mm, the enemy team being right there, and I don't wait. I had aura, but I didn't. I felt like I would just get like murdered. You can't arm. Like... You can't arm. He'll just yeah, run away. He's way faster yeah. than you. I also use my E like right here. Yes, that's it. Because I, did, I, did, I didn't think that. That's it. Uh, you, like, if you have E right now, he's dead. Yeah. But you E here, but you don't. You don't look. You know, like you have to. Okay, so when you use your E, you yeah. have to think this like your E will actually game, yeah, be up. This is my first game of the day as well. And I was just playing like subpar. But yeah. yeah so I, now, I is there actually ten game. seconds between you arriving here and you using E? Like this is what you have to be thinking about when you when you make the decision to use E. Like, is the, am I actually gonna be able to use E again? Because if you use E, yeah. let's say you use E right now, like to connect to this wall and like dash into this bush, you know, then your E's on cooldown. You can't kill this guy. But if you E here, you get the max range E and then you kill him. Yeah. So when you're oh, eating yeah. I mean, back here. Yeah, I mean, like 100. Oh, oh fuck. Bad. My fucking feels bad, recording man. is fucked. It feels bad, man. Oh, my fucking God.
Hold on, I can fix it actually. Uh, what's this? Okay. Oh, you coached uh, JR? Yeah, I did this on stream, I think. Uh, oh, it's open. Fuck. Okay, I do this and then this so I can keep recording. I have to delete some gigs here. Yeah, I looked at my disk drive like two days ago and it's on, it, it like, it was just like a red bar and I was like, oh fuck. Like, what do I get rid of? Okay, cool. I think we're good now. Yes, two gigs, okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. This is a hookshot thing. Yeah. That, like, you have to think about uh, before it happens. Yeah, like, yeah, how yeah. long it'll actually take to get to the place. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if the bot lane thing... Right Wait, did the bot lane thing already happen? Did I miss it? Oh, oh, no, oh I, yeah, no. I want to talk about this. This was important. Yeah, yeah. That uh, you, you slow push this wave to deny as many creatures as possible yeah, if somebody were waiting here. walking in like here with me, by the way? Uh, I don't know. Is there any reason, or is she just? Like... Well, okay. So top wave's coming in right now. So top wave's really good for you. Top wave's gonna slow push in, so someone can go top and freeze top, or just go top yeah. and then like crash the. Oh, the yeah, I said in. I think I'm pretty sure I said in call. Like, can I go bot here? Yeah, you just go bot. Yeah, yeah. and then you, and then you slow push crash. I'd like and, and, like if any of you were a different champion, and if you could come bot, and then you slow push crash next wave, and then dive whoever shows up to catch the wave. Uh, yeah. Because there'd be no way for 30 seconds to protect them. I think right around this point as well is when we saw York's build. And yeah, so, like, yeah, York, no so no one is bot right now. So like York top and there's there's two champs bot. So there's a couple different things you can do. Um, but I think the best one when you assume that like the, the, the level of play is really low and that you can just keep farming for the rest of the game um, or like you would eventually team fight is just you just yeah. let this wave die under the turret and you deny the enemy's exp because the, uh, the other thing you do is you kill this wave or you kill the turret here and then you kill the next wave and then leblanc gets the whole wave or she gets like all of these minions but if you just let the turret kill yeah, all of the creeps the here die. they just they just deny it just denies everything yeah. it can even be okay that you wait for these minions to to all die and then you kill the turret and then you kill the next wave or you slow push this wave into crash next wave and kill the turret as slowly as possible uh, because wait, then a wave wait, would crash on tier two. Just right tier on top, right? Just for going off, because it's already just like I'm just gonna like run into the entire wave. Well, maybe you could go top right now. And maybe yeah. could just go top after she gets blue. Uh, so you're just thinking about like the pot, the enemies that could come bot right now, um, or if like Zinzao could help you. Yeah. Uh, but these are like these are different situations. Like you're not able to to like slow push this I wave. Wanted that wave. I wanted to freeze that wave. The the one that just this crashed one? the cannon wave. No, this no, 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 no. The one. Oh, the top one. Yeah, but oh, I messed yeah, it up. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. This should, this should be frozen, yeah. But on this wave, there's a lot of different things you can do, and this is the way you have to think. You have to think about the, what's going on in the game a lot here, too. Oh, wait, is this the right one? Fuck. No, this is really bad. You should never fight here, but... The bot wave, bot wave. There we go. Okay. So, like, in the game right now, you can see that everybody's on the map. So, what should you be doing if you see that everyone's on the map? And, like, you, can, just... you can't make it to them. Like, the fight mid, you're not going to be able to go there. I should be pushing and then take Gromp. Okay, like, uh, without the specifics of this game. Don't use the specifics of the game. Think about, like, if I just told you that there were, like, X champion top lane, your your team mid is fighting, but you can't participate in the mid fight because you don't have flash and you don't have R. Like, what should you be thinking about doing bot? I should be trying to like, apply pressure by taking the turret. Like, bot. Or, or I can... I guess, wait, never mind. You said this, the specifics of the game, but... Okay, okay, well, like, will, will fight, that actually then... help? So, like, think about, like, if I take a tier 1 turret, or let's say an opponent takes a tier 1 turret against me. Yeah. Do I feel like, pressure? Big... Yeah, that's a big, like, point that I've, like, been wondering for a while, like, last couple of months. I'm, I'm just not sure, like, when it's when it's worth to, like, take tier 1 and when it's... Because okay. like, I see some top laners, like, when I have a huge... Or not some top laners, some junglers, when I have a like, hugely top, they'll rift top early. When I don't want to take the turret yet. Yeah, and then the like, opponents can freeze. I've had that feeling. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So I've had that feeling before, but it's like, I'm wondering like when it's actually worthwhile for me to to take tier one turret, uh, compared to not. Okay. Try to think of it like, 
make it like as abstract as possible. Like I can answer this question with like, if you if you tell me what's going on, like Yorick is top and he's pushing, and there's like my my team mid is fighting, and like everyone is accounted for basically except like Anivia's coming bot. And I don't know why. Um, what should I be doing in the game, or what should I be thinking about that would give me like the biggest advantage? And it, like it doesn't have to do with League of Legends. It's just make the most money for myself and prevent the enemies from getting the most money that I can. That's uh, I all it I is. Ra I get. I should probably run top and freeze it, maybe, and just try to deny Yorick without the push. Because if they're just like, I I don't want him. Because like me having a lead over him, would just like, it's like a lead for everyone, kind of. It's like, I don't know how to explain it, but if I get like a. If I'm denying him, even if I don't have like the highest DS numbers, if I'm denying him, then it's like still really worth. Yes, yeah, so it just has to do with the gold differential, and then you take into account yeah. like specific champion like base values. Like if they get EXP, how how like how strong are they? Yeah, because Yorick's tail is really hard. With like it doesn't matter or, like, if Orin has like a hundred like... CS and you have two hundred. If he has like level sixteen and you're level fourteen, you're actually losing because he's given his yeah. team thousands isn't, of gold. Isn't, aren't that aren't isn't each level worth like one K? Yeah, one K or that. more. Yes, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So you know, like the economy is the economy is like really complicated. Like, but the thing you're thinking about in the game, like if I give you this specific game state. The way that you think about it doesn't have to do with League of Legends a whole lot at all. It's just make the most money that I can and prevent the opponents from getting all the money that I can. So we work backwards from that point because you agree that you probably aren't going to like TP top to like freeze on Yorick right now. Anivia should probably just like recall and go top and then get blue and then go back top. Like this is probably what Anivia should do. So I'm going to stay bot and I'm not going to be able to interact with anybody except LeBlanc after like 40 seconds. So what can I do in like this 40 second time where my team is doing who knows what in mid lane uh, and like LeBlanc's on death timer. All I want to do is deny all like the all the gold that I can off the opponents and get everything that I can. So just so, farm minions and don't hit the turret? Well, we, we work backwards from this conclusion. So if we can agree that like it's it's best to just make as much gold as I possibly can, we'll go backwards from this point and be like, okay, so now we'll use the specifics of the game and we'll try to figure out like what can I do to deny every single minion if that's possible with like the, the most time. So you want to crash this wave really, really fast um, because LeBlanc is, is coming up soon. She's coming up in 10 seconds. So we need to deny her this whole wave. Um, and then let's say we want to extend this like minutes into the future. Like we want to get a recall off at some point. Um, so should I take next wave and then recall? You could take next wave and then you could take you could try to take Gromp and then recall if you're allowed to yeah. do that. Um, you could then then I was bringing up that you can like slow push the wave that comes up here if you had enough time, which you don't have enough time. But this is like another option that you could think about is you mm -hmm. slow push this wave, like you just hold this wave here and you try to get this wave into the turret. Um, so you would like maybe like kill the the cannons and the in the melees. Uh, and then when the next wave comes, you kill the next wave so that this wave and this wave crash on the tier two, and then the wave slow pushes into your tier two, so you have a lot of time before you have to have to ever come bot again. So there'd be like a minute where you don't have to come bot, and then you can go help your team, and then you can go top and freeze, like eventually. Um, but you don't have enough time to do this because LeBlanc is going to be walking with this wave because she's just spawned. So you know that you don't have enough time to kill this wave because LeBlanc will already be bot. I should uh, have been running bot right now, I think, because I say Nivea walking top. Uh, yeah. Towards top. Yeah, yeah. Anivia, Anivia should be going top. Yeah, and then you should go bot, and then LeBlanc pushes into you, but Zin farms downwards, and then here you kill LeBlanc. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, and and this stuff might feel like you can't like actively see it during the game, but I I, I promise you there. you I can, but it, it's it's hard. It's not easy to think about this like during the game. Like it probably took me like a year, year and a half to like actively think about like all this stuff happening during the game. But now I can do it with like multiple roles. Like I like in, in like competitive matches as well. I can like do this for other players. But you just have to like actively think about it inside and outside of the game, and eventually it'll get to the point where this isn't like a, such a crazy task to be thinking about like lanes 90 seconds ahead, like three waves ahead. It won't be so crazy. You just have to like actively make this a habit to be thinking about like well two waves from now, what am I actually going to be doing? Uh, while also yeah. still trying to do everything correct in the moment. Okay. Um, I don't think there's a lot more in this game, so we'll probably end it. No, yeah, it's, not, yeah. it's probably it's just that was like that was mostly good stuff. This is uh this is like pretty obvious. You shouldn't be fighting here because you see everybody yeah. on the map. You see everyone right here. Just don't go in. It's pretty easy. Um, do you have any questions right now? Um, I guess it was like, how do I, like what like. What should I do to, like, level 1, I, I remember reading, I think you said somewhere that you think top laner should always pull the wave level 1. No, or, I did not say I don't, that. I don't, okay, it wasn't you. I remember re reading that somewhere. I was wondering how, do you, do you think that, like, 
that's like a smart idea before we level, level one. Um, in some matchups where you can get like really good trades, um, you can make it so that the wave still pushes into you, um, but you can still get level two faster. So like the good situation where you pull the wave is like the wave is still pushing towards you, but you get some sort of level advantage or some sort of trading advantage anyway, so that you never need to crash on the opponent but you can win trades against them and you can like have like lane advantage against them so you can eventually slow push and crash so if i pull the first wave against you broken blade did this yesterday in a jax mordekaiser jax mordekaiser is, i think which is yeah um and he won really hard early he pulled the wave and then he traded really really hard on the first and second wave and then ended up i think crashing third or fourth wave um super huge advantage but he pulled the wave level one so that it was slow pushing towards him um, but then he, he just kept trading and kept winning, and then eventually he slow pushed and crashed. Um, but if you let it slow push more, the opponent will get level 2 first, but if you can just make it to the point where you're level 2, and then you're actually trading harder than him, you're much stronger than him, then the extra wave doesn't matter, and then you'll win trades, and then you'll slow push into them. But I think this is pretty rare that this is really good, and it's better just to slow push from the get-go uh, in, like, in general cases. But there's spots where that's proper, I agree, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I've always, I've like wondered that for a couple months, but I've never really like understood yeah. the mechanics for wave pulling. Wave one, it, it's tough lane. Yeah, it, it will be very rare that like something is like all the time better. Like the the hard and fast yeah, rules yeah, don't really yeah. exist in league. Um, yeah. There's gonna be like general like guidelines that will be like most of the time right, um, but like nothing. I, I don't think anything is like 100% every single time, every single game of League of Legends correct. Uh, that isn't like super super fundamental i mean e even then I, I don't think anything yeah I, I think there's always like there's always variation yeah okay, okay. yeah yeah uh, um i recorded this so i'll get you the vods i'll just send them to you as like a youtube link yeah, that's yeah, unlisted. Thank, yeah thank you so much man. Yeah, I, yeah. I really appreciate it yeah, thank you so much it's really like okay. actually informative uh you yeah should, then, uh, we, then we need to yeah, yeah yes yes i'll send it to you right now yeah because we have to work that out uh here it is Um. Uh, okay. I also read on you. You did like a Reddit AMA. Yeah. Uh, about or you said like there's two champions that any player shouldn't touch if you play top is Fiora and Gangplank. I think you said that. Uh, I said if you're so, NA, if you don't have, if I don't know if I said Gangplank. I I think any player should try to play Gangplank. Um, uh, but I don't think they should try to play Fiora. Uh, unless, yeah. Unless Fiora's my like, second most really played. Really fucking good. If you're also my second most played, and it's also the character I like the most. But, yeah, so the reason uh, I, I kind of like to trick I, Fiora. Camille, did you read like my explanation as to why I told like any yeah, players I, not to play Fiora? No, like I just read it on the I read it on like the Reddit thread. Yeah. Uh, but there was I someone asked like underneath like the comment they're like oh why did, why does he think this? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't think you gave an explanation. You and no, I put it like, I put a huge spacing. explanation under that. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I think it was something about spacing. I didn't think it was you who actually posted the explanation that I saw, at least, the one that I yeah, saw. Yeah, I, I posted a huge explanation as to why, like, any players shouldn't really touch Was Fiora. it, like, she's, she's less forgiving around spacing? Um, there's too much happening in every second. Players can't, like, players aren't actively thinking this much about laning, and they can't keep up with how much Fiora gives them. And then, like, it, on top of, like, the mechanical, the, the mechanical demand that she has, where you have to, like, play yeah. everything really precisely. Otherwise, other characters will just do the same thing that she does way better. You should just play Camille yeah. then. Just play Camille. It's just easier. I th yeah, I like Fiora and Camille. I feel like they have like really, really similar, like just I don't know. They just remind me of yeah. each other when I play them. They have the same feeling. Just like oh, fucking gosh. play Shen, man. Come on, don't play Fiora. Uh, you yeah, can't I actually, do it. I, I I I hate that champ so much. I hate Shen. I hate laning against it. He's so. Oh. He's just so. I, I don't. I don't hate playing it. I like playing it, but like I hate playing against it. Because he's so, like, oppressive. Especially when they go Ignite and then go double Ruby Crystal Rush. Which is really, really annoying. Yeah, Shen's really hard to beat. He's really OP right now. Okay. Yeah. Do you think Camille's the best top right now, by the way? Camille and Shen are, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, I'll talk yeah, to you later. You yeah, right if right, you yeah. have any more questions, by the way, you can message me on Discord. Uh, but I'll get right, you the cool. VODs. I'll send you these VODs when, uh, whenever they're uploaded. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, have a great day, man. Yeah. Hi Twitch chat. Oh god, it's so hot in my room. <laughs>